if no one is buying these golf clubs, does that mean it's all over? Today I am playing with the poster child of overrated and overpriced over the last two, three years. Why? Because they are forgiving. They are for that beginner player and they are extremely good. But because of everything that's culminated over the last two, three years, the influx of golfers, the supply chains breaking down for main manufacturers, these clubs that are five, six, seven, eight, ten, doesn't matter what year they came out, the model, the brand pushed the price because they did their job. But I couldn't bring myself to recommend to you guys because there was just better alternatives when the price was that inflated. Today I am playing with a set that I could equally deem and did say a year ago was heavily overrated and that's why I love making these videos because we can turn back the clock and look what they were going for a year ago and the best bit is we get to look at the prices today's date and what they're going for and is this a small sign that the times are changing the tide is turning and i now get to recommend you big brand nice looking forgiving irons that give you all of the above for actually a decent price so strap yourself in because whether you like a good deal making money on the side testing and trying equipment moving it on for exactly what you bought it for or just discovering what clubs work for you you might want to watch the rest of this video because it might not just be these irons we haven't kind of gone over the edge just yet stuff is still going for extortionate amount of money when there's brand new equipment, just that much more expensive. But if these particular irons, the ones that suits, let's say the masses, the vast amount of people that started golf in the last two years, and we're starting to see these decline, well, personally for me, it can only be a good thing. Because let's be honest, I'm sick and tired of not being able to name big brand stuff because it's just going for extortionate amount of money. Let's talk the main reason why these irons are starting to go down in price. And for a lot of you guys that are potentially looking for the ultimate forgiveness, or potentially you've just started the game, a lot of people that started two years ago, a year or so ago, when the height of the pandemic was full force and supply was very low, trying to get a club fit or brand new stuff was near on possible. So not only did you have people fighting for second hand club stuff, because they've always bought second hand club stuff, but you've even got golfers that want brand new stuff, but can't get a hold of it, but got nothing else to do. They can't play football, they can't play cricket, they can't play tennis and they want to play golf with their friends and this brand is known for forgiveness and not only that these particular golf clubs go for so much money is that they produce tanks these things are built to last it doesn't matter if they're five years old ten years old 15 years old these clubs look like they've just come out and no matter if they're in the bunker sand water dirt out in the shed for a year they still look pretty darn good. Arguably the most overrated iron over the last two years. And as I said at the start of this video, I did a ping overpriced and underpriced video where ping G10s were going for 200, 220 pound a set. These were going for 300 pounds a set. And when ping G series and ping G 400s and ping G 410s were only like 50 pounds, 100 pounds more. And don't worry, when you see the end of this video, we're gonna go through all the prices of what ping golf clubs are going for. And to be honest, I couldn't be more happier because they're one of my most favorite brands. They're reliable, apart from these things. I mean, don't get me wrong, depending on what set you get, any ping lovers here, any ping users know the heartache. These little badges out the back can cause you but in terms of the heads themselves the overall forgiveness that the clubs can bring you is one of my favorite brands to recommend beginner golfers people that want to get a good deal and thankfully in 2022 july i think it's the 7th i can actually start saying with all my heart that these are now worth buying and we'll look through the prices and we'll look through a few other makes and models that i highly recommend you guys to go and have a look at but these are great little sets you guys starting. And this thing here, I mean, that's just a monster in itself. And at the end of the video, I'll show you my favorite model that I think you guys definitely should be picking up if you can and you can get it for a good deal because this is the thing, especially for you guys that like testing equipment and moving on for a slight profit because we're now starting to see a massive gap in the market. For let's say the professional resellers, the G10s, the G400s, whatever it is, they're still going for a similar amount of price to what they were going for six months ago. But the auctions, which I'm I'm just showing you here you can see that there's just not that much interest so yes if you 
you've got that particular set, the one with the stiff flex and the one with half an inch longer and the green dot, someone will be willing to pay that, rightly so, because that set, they know that is going to work for them. But if you just slap these clubs up now for a five day, seven day auction, you're not gonna get the 40 bids. 50 bid frenzy, which I'll show you from my year ago video now, that there was G10s going for 200 pounds, G20s like these, 300 odd pounds, which was ludicrous, but it's a nice little sign for everyone involved. For you guys that remember what second hand club prices were three, four years ago. And for some of you guys that are thinking, I've got tons and tons of stuff at home. I've been buying loads of stuff, testing it out. And all of a sudden the market's starting to go down. Just be patient. Don't put it on auction, put it on buy it now. Clean photos, make sure your feedback's half decent. And people will still want to buy them because you've got that particular club. One of the days where you can go and buy a hundred set of golf clubs, then whack them back up on Facebook Marketplace and someone will be at your door that evening with cash to take it out of your hands. And to be honest, for everyone involved that loves the game of golf and just wants a good deal, this is only a good thing. And I get to play with lots of golf clubs. Hence why I love my job. Week in, week out, I have a different set in my hands. And as a player that hits it a long way, and as a player that could be deemed as a good ball striker. Okay, direction is definitely my weakness, but strike I'm pretty decent at. And sometimes it's nice to come out, even for me, with a nice chunky set. For some of you guys that potentially aren't hitting balls, aren't practicing as much as you used to, I actually could say now, maybe just get a cheap set of these if you see a nice little deal. 100 quid, 120 quid for four to pitch in wedge, whatever that might be, because I've just hit the three iron off the tee there, down here on the 16th. And I mean, that has gone 230 yards, maybe 240 yards. And I just hit half shots with this. And no matter what part of the face I'm hitting, toe, heel, sole, the hosel, it all goes forward and it all goes in a relatively good distance. The only downside of these sets and the reason that we're now starting to see this slight move from forgiving cavity back irons potentially to the more forged blade where a lot more of the focus is now because all those players have got better is that this sand wedge from 90 yards out of the semi here to a red flag with no green to work with I mean, that's virtually impossible to judge. And the best news about all of this is for you guys that are in the sticks, you rural guys, you guys that haven't got a population of 100,000 sitting around you, the ones that are up the north, south, or in different countries where golf clubs just aren't accessible. I know some of you guys internationally just have such difficulty finding anything for under 100 pounds, whether it's a wedge, a putter, a driver, you name it. And as I see this going forward, a bit clever, having a bit of knowledge, potentially watching a few of these videos so you know what's in front of you and you know what's a good prize means that you don't have to travel an hour an hour and a half like I know a lot of you guys to so go and get a good deal on a driver that's 40 pounds instead of 85 or 90 whereas now I feel like going forward eBay will be a good influx of cheap golf clubs in the auction category which I haven't been able to say for a very long time and it makes me happy because it means that golf especially the affordable kind of golf is going to be available to a lot more of you so let's look at my top set that I think you should be getting if you wanted a ping set of irons. And that is the Ping G series, which a year or so ago I said was heavily overrated because of the price that it was demanding. 350, 400 pounds for a set of irons that are five years old. And you know my feelings about a five-year-old set. They should be at the bottom of the bottom with zero depreciation in its future. And I just knew full well these were just being pumped because of the demand that people wanted as a beginner in the game of golf. But as I show you the prices up on the screen now, you're starting to see them only being another 80 pounds. 90 pounds, 100 pounds, more of an upgrade than these Ping G20s here, which I think is worth the value. The Ping G series, I think it's a perfect blend in terms of depreciated assets, as well as the technology and forgiveness that you're getting from them. I'm not saying that companies don't improve on their older equipment. And from a year to year model, confidence and comfortability with your set of irons outweighs any tech that potentially a manufacturer might have been able to scrape out of the barrel. Therefore, when you're looking at an 80 to 90 pound upgrade of about five years worth of technology, I think it's worth 
pulling the trigger especially if you're only going to lose 40 to 50 pounds worth of that money over the next two years of getting better at this game quick tip for you big hitters out there that are looking for a cheap driving iron this three iron i've been using today is absolute animal and it's not going to demand the same kind of utility driving iron price that you see in the second hand market whether it's callaway taylor made suits and whatever it might be 120 130 140 pounds go old school go back when the irons back in the day were three to sandwich we're talking g10 g15 g20 and if you you find a three iron in one of these for 40 45 pounds maybe 50 pounds with a decent grip on the end of it i highly recommend buying it because this thing is just like all of those high launching forgiving gives you 200 yard plus down the middle of the fairway even out the hill toe or the hosel if you like this video leave it a like subscribe if you're new and you might like this one up here on the left hand side see you guys there